right, continuing on with Dong and Rampa, trying to find who, where everybody went, pretty much. It's probably best if we split up and search. Ogami, you take the dormitory. Check everyone's bedrooms. Nagi, you search the first floor of the school. I'll handle the second floor. Alright then, I've got the first floor. Don't take any unnecessary risks. If anything happens, call for someone immediately. Let's just hope nothing does happen. I concur. Very well then, let us begin. Everyone shared a look of uncertainty as we dispersed, and I hurriedly, I hurried off to my area, the school's first floor. Alright. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Let's look around the first floor. Oh, man. What, uh... Yeah, what is going on? Man. Okay, what do I want to check first? Let's check the shop first. I love the shop. Okay, yep, as I guess, nothing here. Do I have any Monokuma coins to spend? Oh wow, I'm broke. Never mind, never mind, I'm broke. I forgot. I wonder if I could get Togami to lend me some money if I become good enough friends with him. I'm probably gonna need that eventually. Um, What was this room again? I don't know what that room- Oh wait, no, that was the entrance to the school, wasn't it? I'll take a look in here. Huh. Nothing new in here. Yeah, this looks just about the same. Okay, so I haven't checked the classrooms yet. Come quick, someone! What? That voice, it was Asahina's. So I'm pretty sure she was searching the third floor. My body acted faster than my mind and I darted towards the stairs. I made to the fl third floor as fast as I could. And there she was, standing frozen in the hallway. N Nagi! What happened, Asahina? We've got a problem. When I opened the rec room door, I looked inside, and they're... they're... inside the rec room. I should let the others know. I'm... I'm gonna go and find everyone else. You go on ahead, Nagi. Nervous and flustered, Asahina stumbled down the stairs. What happened in the rec room? Half instinctively, I ran into the rec room. I opened the rec room door, and the first thing I saw was... Wait, what? Oh, shit. Celis, <laughs> and she was injured. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, uh, okay, okay, wait a sec. Okay, let's... There's a hammer here. Okay, wait a second. There's a little hammer here first. What's this? It looks like a wooden mallet, but with an unusual design. There's something written on the head. Justice hammer number one? I was attacked with that hammer. I dodged it by the skin of my teeth, but when I did, I fell down. My lack of daily exercise got the better of me. She was attacked with this hammer? What's up with Justice Hammer number one? Okay, yeah, what the hell's going on? Uh, Nagi. What happened, Celis? I, I overplayed my hand. I was attacked. You were attacked by who? By a mysterious madman. Wait, what? A mysterious madman? Everything about the madman was a mystery. I couldn't help but call him mysterious. A mysterious madman quite aptly describes him. I was attacked by a mysterious madman with a hammer over there. Nagi, sell us. Yes. I brought Sakura. Sell us, what on earth happened to you? She was attacked by some sort of madman. Uh, madman? Sell us, tell, uh, tell us more about this madman. <laughs> This morning, I woke up before 7, while it was still nighttime. I naively thought it would be okay, since it would be 7 anyway. Soon be 7 anyway. And I left my room to take a walk around the school zone first. That was my mistake. During my walk, I spotted the madman. His face was covered, and he was suspicious at a glance. Because he looked suspicious, I decided to quietly follow him. The madman entered the rec room. I peered through the crack in the door, but he spotted me and then attacked me. Mm. You were attacked? I was attacked just after nighttime ended, a little after 7 a.m. So you were attacked a little after 7. <laughs> that would have been while we were in the cafeteria approximately an hour ago. When I was attacked, I lost consciousness. 
It seems. I've been unconscious for almost an hour. Thank goodness it's only a few bruises. Only because I begged for mercy with every fiber of my being. Mercy? I'll do anything. Just please, let me live. I'll kiss your feet, I'll kiss your anything. You discarded your pride. I am impressed. I will adapt any strategy to survive. But more importantly, we should be searching for the madman. I'm afraid something bad will happen if we don't hurry. Something bad? Celis, what do you mean by something bad will happen? When I peeked into the rec room, there was another person with the madman. It was Yamada. Y Yamada? And after the madman attacked me, he dragged Yamada off. He was kidnapped? Shouldn't we start looking and quick? Hey, Celis, did anything stand out about the madman? Something that stood out? Rather than explaining, it would be quicker to show you. Show us. You remember Yamada's old digital camera? So you... Yes, I secretly photographed the madman. Really? Let me see. Try not to be too surprised, though I'll exp I expect that'll be quite difficult. Surprised? After finishing her warning, Cell showed us the digital camera. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm done. I'm done. No. I'm done. <laughs> are, you, are you fucking kidding me right now? Yamato was fucking kidnapped by a giant ro fucking transformer. Fucking Optimus Prime. <laughs> I'm so done. <laughs> she wasn't lying when she said the Batman had covered his face and his entire body. A uh, robot costume? As I said, a mysterious Batman, yes? Uh, so Yamada was dragged off by this weird robot. I took the photo at the time of the attack. In other words, an hour ago. Which is why we must hurry before something bad happens. I think I understand, well, much still a mystery remains. In any case, Yamada has been kidnapped by the madman in that picture. Whew. <laughs> God damn it. It had to be a transformer looking. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. Even worse, it happened an hour ago. Crap, we've gotta get moving. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so, do you know where the madman went? He turned left after leaving the rec room. He went left, which means he used the stairs to the second floor. So the madman's on the second floor? As I recall, Kirigiri was in charge of searching the second floor. Hey, speaking of which, where's Kirigiri? Sorry, I haven't heard- I haven't gone to the second floor yet. This could be bad. If the culprit is on the second floor, they could run into each other. Let's go, Kirigiri's in danger. As soon as I said that, I dashed down the rec room. Out, I dashed out of the rec room and down the stairs to the second floor. Whew. Oi, Bay. What's with all the racket? Oh, oh. What game are we playing today? Oh no, show. Just let us show. Does this look like a game? Anyway, have you two seen Ki Have you two seen Kirigiri or Yamada? <laughs> nope, nope. I ain't seen them. <laughs> they, they're on this floor. We just arrived though. We heard all the ruckus and came to see what was happening. Together? You're nothing but a stalker. Anyway, come on, would you help us look for them? Did something happen? We'll explain later, but we are in the battle against the clock. Sure, I'll tag along. Looks like something interesting's brewing. Yamada Kirigiri, say something if you can hear me. However, her voice just echoed through the empty hall in vain. Huh? Did you hear something? It was faint. But I believe it came from the library. Come on, to the library. We all ran to, uh, for the library as quickly as we could. We opened the library door and... Oh, shit. Yamada, no. Oh, ah, oh. There, Yamada was visibly injured. Uh, are you alright? Oh, thank goodness he's alive. 
I am not well. See? Look at this blood. How did you get those wounds? I was felt by him. <laughs> Please don't call him. By him. <laughs> Justice Robo. I dubbed him such just moments ago. What are you talking about? <laughs> God damn it. This is really happening right now. Oh my goodness. It's a wooden mallet, much like the one used to attack cells in the rec room, but this one. Justice Hammer number two? On top of that, this one's visibly larger than the one in the rec room. He hit me with that hammer. My head's not gone. I'm not a gong. I'm actually surprised. You don't look too bad. I am bad. I'm bleeding. Protein works quite well for injuries. Would you like some? I've never heard of that bef- I've never heard of that before. Are you sure it's not just you? Well, Cell seems fine now at least, but Yamada... Hey, he is Justice Robo. The one you call Justice Robo, is this him? <laughs> God. <laughs> well, what the hell is that ridiculous contraption? This is the one who attacked Cells and Yamada. Isn't that right, Yamada? Without a doubt, it was him. You are <laughs> Justice Robo. Masaka. Ma <laughs> Justice Robo. Things have gotten quite strange. <laughs> Monaco. A robot dishing, uh, dishing out justice. This sounds like it'll be fun. What are its secret moves? Does it fly? At least tell me, can it b combine into something? And he's gone. Okay, nice. What are you here for? Just ignore Monokuma. We need to bring Yamada to the infirmary on the first floor. However you look at it, it would be better off. He would be better off receiving some first aid. I agree. Come on, let's go. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, what is happening? I mean, I, I, yeah. I'm so confused right now. This was not what I was expecting at all. We all moved to the infirmary so we could treat Yamada's wounds. Mm. I'm going to start cleaning your wound, Yamada. How are you feeling? Mm. I'm fine. Oh. The bleeding has stopped. I am feeling a little lightheaded, though. So Yamada, it would, be bre it would probably be best if you rested here for a time. So uh, y yes. Then. Very well. Then we shall return to our search for the madman. So before we have another victim. As the number of justice hammers used increases, all it also increases in size, which means if there's another attack, it will be even larger than hammer number three. It it'll, it will be in the even larger hammer number three. There's no way someone wouldn't die if they were hit by a hammer bigger than number two. <laughs> Yamada, tell me everything you know. Uh, having woken up early this morning, I set out search for her, alter for alter ego. While I was on the first third floor recreation room, I was suddenly attacked by the madman. Mm. That was what I witnessed this morning around 7. Hello. After that, I was taken to the library and there he hit me in the head like a gong. That was, I'd say, 30 or 40 minutes ago. Mm. But he keeps leaving them after he hits them though. So about 7.30 a.m., we were still in the cafeteria then. That was when me, Asahina, and Ogami, and, Kiri and also Kirigiri worked together. Which means we've got uh we've all got alibis. <laughs> I was in the laundry room. Yes. Washing underwear as black as the night sky. Mm. How would you know that? <laughs> I was peeking, obviously. Anyway, Togami and Fukawa were together as, at the time as well, which means they've also got alibis. The only ones who don't have an alibi for when Celis and Yamato were attacked are the two people we haven't seen today yet today, Ishimaru and Hagakura. <laughs> By the way, what happened to Kirigiri? I haven't seen her around today. Oh yeah, she was supposed to be searching the se on uh, the second floor, but I didn't see her there. <laughs> then, where did she disappear to? <laughs> I see, so she's gone and disappeared. Huh. What an unusual woman. <laughs> it seems my suspicions about her were right. Hold on, wait a s- uh, hold on a second. When Celis and Yamada were attacked, Kirigiri was in the cafeteria also. <laughs> uh, I'm not talking about the madman. What? No, I'm talking about what we discussed yesterday. The Puppet Master's Mole. 
So you're saying Kirigiri is the mole? No, it can't be. None. And why can't it? She refuses to reveal her title. She doesn't even bat an eye at touching a corpse. Oy. Wait, we can discuss this later. Right now we must track down the madman. She's right, if we don't d hurry, someone could get hurt. I bet it's the madman's fault we can't find Kirigi or Ishimaru or Hagakure. Right, we've got to do something about this madman first. <laughs> Worry not about myself. After I've rested, I will reconvene with the party. <laughs> Understood, take care of yourself. Yeah. Very well, let us go. So hey, why do you think the madman is dressed up like that? <laughs> You're wasting your time trying to apply reason to a freak. <laughs> so what's the plan? Split up and get looking? <laughs> we are up against someone both dangerous and unpredictable. For now, we... None. What is it? <laughs> I saw a shadow. There was a shadow moving at the top of the stairs. <laughs> really? The second floor. <laughs> I will, uh, I will not allow you to slip through my fingers this time, monster. The next moment, we were r all running up the stairs. <laughs> he should be somewhere in this area. Let's split up and try to corner him. <laughs> Do not put yourself in any unnecessary danger. Should you find anything, call for me right away. <laughs> but what should I say when I call for you? <laughs> Just say whatever. <laughs> what about ah? <laughs> ah, do ya? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Just make sure she can hear you. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh yeah! I don't believe I've heard of that one before. Uh, whatever. Just hurry up and get looking. I'm going now. Where you hiding, Robo Babe? If you don't show yourself, I'll dismantle you. We dispersed in every direction to search for the madman. Where the madman had hidden. Oh. Well. Give me a free chance to search in here. This is the girl's restroom. Never mind the fact we're in the middle of an emergency. There's no way I'm going in. Okay, can I go in the men's bathroom? I can't. Okay. Very important to search here. Anything in the mirror? I like that the mirror actually like shows the reflection too. That's really cool. Anyway, there's nothing in here. Oh, yeah! <laughs> that weird scream. I'm pretty sure that was Celis. Came from upstairs, the third floor. I hurried up the stairs to the third floor. I'm over here, everyone. Having heard Celis' scream, we all gathered to the, on the third floor. What happened, Celis? That was a rather exaggerated cry coming from you. I saw him, the costumed madman. When I shouted, he ran off. Myself facing up uh, opposite the stairs, he turned the corner at the end of the hall to the left. The end of the hall? Let's go. Uh, uh. What now? Achoo. Wh where am I? Whoa. He wasn't lying. But this isn't the time to... Oh, Yamato. Huh? What? It came from downstairs, which means that scream. Was Yamada in the infirmary? Crap, let's hurry back. And what about the madman? He's cornered. You want us to blow our chance to catch him? In that case, let's split into two groups. I'm staying up here. It'll be more fun. Then Nagi, Asahina, and I will head for the infirmary. No, I want to stay upstairs too! I want to catch the madman! And Fukama, Togami, Fukawa, Togami, and Ugami are responsible for capturing the madman. No, no. Leave it to me. You take care of Yamada. Yeah, you guys be careful. No, I want to stay upstairs and catch the madman. That sounds like way more fun. I agree with... I agree with Togami here. That sounds like way more fun. And then we split into two. And Nisalus and Asahina sped downstairs. Sped down the stairs to the first floor. The infirmary, let's get going. Or, get going. Alright, alright. I'm on my way. Wait, this is the infirmary. I almost passed it. I'm just like, wait, wait a minute, that pink. I know the pink. We burst to the infirmary doors and they're waiting for us. It was like another world. A world of monochrome and red. Monochrome and red. Wait, no. Not Yamada. Not Yamada. No. Yamada. No. Oh, really? Damn. Does that mean no more, no more otaku jokes? 
Oh man. I'm actually really sad he's dead. Oh shit, dude. Red, as far as the eye could see, and at the center of it all, y Yamada. Damn. Damn, man. It, it seems things have taken a turn for the worse. Fuck, man. <laughs> I never would have guessed that Yamada would be killed. Killed? You're kidding, right? No way, he can't be dead. Ding dong, ding dong. We got a corpse here. We'll be holding a class trial pretty soon, so make good use of the time you've got. That was a corpse discovery announcement. The corpse discovery announcement occurs after a murder is committed, then when at least three people discover the body. Since we just heard that announcement, that means Yamada was killed by one of us. One of us. And look at that. As she spoke, Cell is pointed. There's something full at the floor. That's some, uh, that same something has been used in the previous two attacks. This is number three, isn't it? Wait a minute, let's take a look at number three. Another wooden mallet, another Justice Hammer. Justice Hammer number three. It's even bigger than the other two. Just as we feared, there's no surviving a strike from that. Then the culprit really is. Without a doubt, the mysterious man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, it sucks that Yamada's dead, but fucking hell. The fucking Transformer thing fucking killed him. Oh, god. Without a doubt, this mysterious madman. To use the name Yamada gave him. Justice Robo. The person hiding themselves in that costume killed Yamada. But wait. Didn't we just see him on the third floor fleeing down the hall? So how did he get to the infirmary? Are you saying he can teleport? We can think about that later. Right now we need to tell the others. It, yeah, you're right. Then let us be off. Asahina, pull yourself together, please. Huh? Are you alright, Asahina? S sorry, I don't I don't think I can move. I I'm not... This is quite the dilemma. We can't leave Asahina here by herself. Then I'll go tell the others. You stay here with Asahina, Silas. <sighs> Alright, as you say, take care of yourself. Yeah, leave it to me. I may sound strong and full of confidence, but I've been racked with uncontrollable shaking for the last few minutes. The others are on the third floor, let's go. The other three were chasing the madman on the third floor, and he was headed. What happened, Silas? There's a rather exaggerated cry coming from you. I saw him, a custom madman. When, he, when I shut it, he ran off. Myself facing opposite the stairs, he turned the corner at the end of the hall to the left. So down there to the left, okay. Since he was running, he would uh, he would have gone as far down as he could. What's at the very end of the hall? Ah, the art room. Maybe? Well, let's check in here. Just to be sure. Maybe he's in here? Oh, he's not in here. Okay. Whoop. Wrong button. Didn't mean to press the map. Okay, so not the art room. So, he really did run as far as he could. Just wanted to check the art room along the way, just to see. Man, I really do like how this, room, this uh, little part right here looks. Okay, we can't go up there. Oh, is there a classroom down here? Maybe. Oh, the physics lab! I forgot about this. At first glance, it doesn't look like there's anyone here. But I can feel something. Someone. It's coming from the room in the back. Okay, so there's nothing in here going on. 
Hey, at least he didn't break our air filter thing. I burst through the door, and there was the second nightmare of the day. Not one, but two nightmares awaited me today. No! 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 <laughs> no! 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 No!